How's it going, everybody? I'm Rude Linnell. I just ate Lucky Charms for breakfast, even though it's 6 in the evening, and uh, welcome back to another batch tutorial. Alright, now in the last couple of videos, what we've been doing is actually creating our own sort of like create string function. And what that allowed us to do was to create strings uh, by using quotation marks like a normal programming or scripting language would, and it also allowed us to be able to get the length. We tried to add that functionality in, and uh, now I want to review it a little bit more because there's something that we kind of missed here. There's something we, uh, there's something we, we need to work on. So let's check it out. <clears throat> if I get Notepad++ ready, I've actually, I think I've got, uh, where's all this stuff, first of all. I'll get to my directory, and I'll show you what we have here, because we've got our create string, and, uh, what this will do is actually create the string, um, that sort of thing, and it looks like I've already added the functionality here, my bad. I better fix that. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, we're ready to roll at this point, though. Here, uh, I, I just gave you a sneak peek if you guys were paying attention. But anyway, uh, if I get CMD ready to go as well, I can show you what it is that this uh, actually script does. Because if we were to run, create string, and actually, just to keep things safe, I'm going to create a new copy of this. I'll call it build string. You guys don't have to do this, you don't have to worry about it, but I'll call mine build string. Okay, now I'll call my string, like, variable. And we can say, this is a lot. And that's all. So if we were to echo out variable, now that is a, is a new variable, and it's called this is a lot. And we can echo out the length of that variable as well. 13. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's got a, a perfect amount of number for the length and everything, but what if we didn't actually use these quotation marks? Normally we only use these quotation marks if we have like multiple words, because each space represents it to be another command. So when we're using this, uh, when we're using it with quotation marks, we would include those spaces. But we can't really do that if we don't include them. What if we were just passing in uh, a variable and we only wanted it to be one word. So uh, let's let's try this. Let's test it out. If I were to type in build string again, which is uh, the string the script that we just created, and I'll call mine um, one var, just to keep things easy, and I'll say word. Okay, now we can echo out one var. Oh. Let me get to the right position and everything. If we echo out one var, we get word. That's perfectly fine. But what if we echo out one var length. It's two. But remember, word is only uh, four letters long. <laughs> so something's going wrong here. It's, uh, it's subtracting those quotation marks, even though the quotation marks aren't really there. So we have to sort of account for this inside of our, our build string or create string function that we have. So let's go ahead and modify it. Uh, what I'm going to do, I think the best way to attack this is actually setting the value that we're subtracting from the string whenever we uh, actually try and get the length, what we need to do is change this to a variable that we can change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call mine, and we're going to be using the dash a tag because we are using numbers, and I'm going to call mine takeaway, and I'll start this off with 5. And then inside of the, the for loop down here, we can change this to subtract takeaway. But when we're looking through it, if it has the quotation marks, we can test whether or not the original string is equal to the string without the quotation marks. So that way we can sort of know whether or not it has quotation marks. So let's check this out. If we did an if statement, a conditional statement, if the value of string before we change it, the normal quotation mark string, if that's already equal to the string without quotation marks, which means there are no quotation marks, what we can do is we can set takeaway to 3. Now 3 is just 5 minus 2, because we're subtracting those two quotation marks. So takeaway can equal 3. Now that should make things pretty easy. Now if I were to run build string one more time, build string, I can't type, holy crap, okay, um, more is what I'll call the variable, and I'll say, like, um, pi. How about that? More pi! <laughs> now if I echo out more, this will actually display pi if, as usual, and if we were to echo out more length, we get three. Then pi is three letters long, so we've done this appropriately. We've done this the way we needed it to. So I'm just gonna quickly save this into, uh, actually if I just save it as create string, and I'll drag, um, 
create string right over to my Windows path. I've done this like three times already. Uh, it's because I've created so many of these that it gets a little hectic, but I'm going to overwrite whatever's there, and now we've got our own create string, and we can test that out. At least I'm going to. You guys don't have to. I'm sure you've already got this all set up already, but if we were to run create string, um, variable var, how about that, var, um, more word, if we echo out var, we've got exactly what we need here, and if we echo out more length, actually, sorry, var length, we get eight, and there's eight characters there, and we're not using quotation marks. So this is kind of nice. This uh, this builds what we need here. Thank you guys for watching, though. It's just a little bit of a quick fix on the script that we put together. And, you know, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this one. Bye.